Hello all, you're very welcome to our HE at Home event, uh, today focused on the subject of engineering. My name is John Dolan, I'm the Deputy Head of School for Engineering at Southwest College, and we're joined today by Brian McElduff, who's another Deputy Head of School for Engineering, by Martin Carberry, by Rhoda O'Neill, Paul Eagleson, Glenn Campbell, and Stuart Morrow, who are all course coordinators of the various levels of higher education courses at Southwest College. Throughout this um, webinar, you can use the Q&A panel to submit questions. So I'm speaking at the minute and all the other course coordinators are in the background waiting for questions from you um, that are specific to you about any of the courses. So we've got a HNC, a foundation degree, a HLA in engineering and a degree top up. So we do have frequently asked questions at various points throughout the presentation, but if anything else comes to your mind throughout, there's an icon on the top right hand corner and it just looks like that um, on the screen now. So you click on that, type in your question and any one of the panel members can answer you back. It's a private conversation, so it's not published. Um, if it's a question that's come up a couple of times and one of the panel members think this would be worth posting in the group, they'll ask you and they'll post it to the group just for everyone to see. But by and large, the, the, the questions are between you and the lecturers, they're personal. There's no questions that are silly or stupid. Um, we're keen that you leave today with all the information that you need. So don't don't feel um, that you can't ask anything. Um, and we will, we'll have heard it all before. Ask whatever questions you want using the wee icon on the top right hand corner. So why choose the Southwest College? First and foremost, it's cheaper. When you're going in and looking for something in business, there's three main things you look for. You want something that's speedy, that's cost efficient and it's high quality. I'm going to outline in the next few slides how we can meet all them objectives. So in terms of it being cheaper, we have lower tuition fees than universities. You leave us with less debt. You're studying closer to home, so you've got reduced living accommodation costs and you've got less of a student loan when you leave us. You've also got your studying in smaller class sizes than universities, so you get more attention and more one-on-one -on -one support. Our classes range from about 12 up to 24 maximum in engineering. So at any point you'll not be in a group bigger than 24. In university you could be sitting in a class with 150 or 200 students and you're being spoken at rather than sitting in groups and getting that one-on-one -on -one attention. We have a huge range of bursaries and scholarships available for our higher education students. Some of them have been developed with a particular focus on engineering and their only engineering students are eligible for them. This is with huge companies like Strickland, like Terex and like the SSE bursaries. Some of these are worth thousands of pounds to our students per year. We're also a bit faster, or it could be. You could achieve your foundation degree in two years and top up to honours degree in just one further year. So it could be quicker. All the reasons to study at the Southwest College. You'll get excellent support from our student services. We have specific focus on careers, on finance, on academic mentoring, and on your health and well-being. We offer a broad range of qualifications. Obviously, today we're focusing on engineering, but we do have a broad range of qualifications across a wide range of areas. We have state-of-the-art facilities and equipment. We work with industry to work out what's happening on the ground and we keep our facilities up to date in line with what they need. We can't send out graduates who are being trained on out of date equipment. You'll be taught by industry qualified lecturers. So a lot of our lecturers work in industry as well as working in the college. So they know what's happening. They can bring that knowledge into the classroom and again ensure that our graduates are going out and they are work ready. They don't need to retrain or upskill. They haven't been taught out of date methods Everything is up to date with what's happening in industry. You can also choose from a wide range of placement opportunities. If you choose to study a foundation degree, for example, you must do an element of work-based learning. A lot of our students are working with international companies across the globe in engineering. A lot of our students find that they can continue with their sporting or their community interests. If they're playing some football, they can stay close to their friends and family and continue with the things that they've done all their life. 
That's not to say that you won't make new friends, new connections and build new networks. You'll meet people that you haven't met before and you'll build upon that and develop connections that'll help you in the industry. You could undertake an international or regional work placement. We focus in engineering on the technical skills for the subject area. That'll be very clear when we talk about the courses. But because of our close relationship with employers, it's became very apparent that an engineer in particular, they don't just want the technical skills. They want people who can work in teams, who can be team leaders, and who can use their common sense to get projects over the line. We try and develop them skills through our projects. We do some project-based learning through the modules that you do and through the assessment methods that we use. So we're not just developing your technical skills, we're also developing what's called soft skills, and that's directly linked to what employers want. There's a very vibrant student life at Southwest College. There's a whole range of clubs and societies, including, as I mentioned, there's Gaelic a football club, there's soccer club, who are both very successful this year. We offer a free counselling service to all students and access to a digital support hub. We have great pastoral support for our students. Because we have small groups, we really get to know our students and we get to know their needs. Throughout your two or three years studying with us on a foundation degree, a HNC or degree, you will build a strong relationship with your programme coordinator. We really know our students and we can point you in whatever type of support that you need from a pastoral point of view. We have a dedicated student finance office, similar to what you would find in any university. They have up-to-date knowledge on your student finance packages, on how to apply for your student loans, and where to go about these things. There's a lot of information on our website already. We have a specific Southwest College bursary, a specific scholarship and a hardship fund for our higher education students. So we have tailored packages for HE students who study at Southwest College. You won't be deprived because you came to Southwest College. Everything that's available in the university will be available in the college to you. I'm going to hand over to Brian Michael Duff, who's the Deputy Head of School in Engineering, who's now going to speak about why are you going to choose to study at Southwest College and why specifically engineering? Hello everybody, you're very welcome here today. Um, so as John said, I'm just going to mention why it's such a good idea to choose engineering and specifically why to study at Southwest College. Hopefully most of you have already decided that you do want a career in engineering. But some, some of you may be considering other subject areas or indeed thinking about studying in other uh, institutions. So we have a few pointers here just to help you uh, make that decision. Um, so the lectures that you'll be um, in class with are a highly qualified group of staff, many qualified to master's level or PhD level. And as John mentioned before, a great many of our staff have industry experience, both current industry experience and industry experience from before they started working in the college. Uh, we have an industry focused approach to the qualifications to ensure that what we're delivering in class is relevant to the work that you hope to do in the future. Um, as been mentioned before, there's a range of bursaries available uh, for engineering students at Southwest College. We're continuing to work on state-of-the-art facilities that we have and year upon year we invest additional money to ensure that our equipment stays up to date and is relevant to both local industry and industries in other parts of the world. Uh, there are several routes that you can choose if you wish to study engineering, one being the HLA route which allows you to be employed while you study, which means you're looking, you're working with a local engineering company, they're employing you, they're paying you, and you, you additionally study at the college to achieve your foundation degree qualification. So Southwest College is also the engineering hub for the Northern Ireland region, which means that we're central to the development of courses within the area, and that ensures that the courses and the content of the courses that we offer are up to date, current and linked to the needs of local industry. We also work with universities, employers and learners to ensure that we current and up to date industry informed curriculum uh, so that the graduates that we produce are sought after not only by local industry but by industries uh, across the country. Okay, looking to the future, and again, why you would choose to study engineering if you're thinking about a long-term 
career. According to the NI Skills Barometer Summary Report 2017, manufacturing engineering is one of the highest demands for jobs in the coming years, with around 2,500 jobs required as a minimum, so potentially more jobs than that. You'll be graduating into a sector with good jobs, not only on your doorstep, but also an engineering qualification is highly regarded in other parts of the world, and you have the option then to progress on and choose to live and work in other areas, not just locally. Um, the Department for the Economy has identified advanced manufacturing, materials and engineering as one of six key areas for Northern Ireland in terms of growth priority. So again, this gives you some confidence that if you come to Southwest College, uh, study engineering, you have a good opportunity for getting a job that will hopefully be rewarding for you and give you opportunities not just to get a job, but to progress through that job and get further and um, further development and career opportunities as time goes on. Okay. Okay, so here we have a list of the different further or higher education courses that we offer. Um, all right. Okay, so the next few slides, the different course coordinators will provide an overview of each of these programs to help you decide which may be most suitable for yourself given your own personal circumstances. So I'll just hand over now to Rhoda to provide an overview of our HNC program. Thank you very much. Okay, hello everybody. Um, I'm just going to go through the HNC engineering that we um, offer at Southwest College. So the units that you will study are a good range of units, engineering maths, engineering science, engineering design, managing a professional engineering project, CAD, CAM, quality and business improvement, electronics, hydraulics and pneumatics, and production engineering. Where is the course available? Right now the course is available in Dungannon, but it will be running in the Skill and Skills Centre from September. How long does it take? It's a two-year course, part-time, one day per week. And currently in Dungan, it runs on a Monday from 1 to 9 p.m. The sort of the requirements that you'll need to get in would be in general a level three qualification in any manufacturing science engineering related field. You'll also need an, a minimum of a GCSE C in maths and a GCSE C in English or equivalent. Good progression routes for your HNC, you'll be going into a level five or a level six qualification. And that can be across the manufacturing science or engineering field. Also, um, holders of BTEC Higher National Engineering meet the academic requirements for the Engineering Council Engineering Technician Standard. So with that qualification, you are at Engineering st Technician Standard. And I hand you back, Brian, to go over the foundation degree. Sorry, it's too fast. Oh, sorry, John. Um, so you'll see at the top right hand corner of the courses the level that they are sitting at. So the HNC was a level four course. Our foundation degree ends up at a level five. You start level four in first year, finish at level five, and the degree is level six. So just to point that out, we do a foundation degree and it's validated by Ulster University. There are two specialisms on the course. You can do mechatronics or manufacturing engineering. The course has just been refreshed. Every five years, we have to go through a validation process. So the students who will be starting this September have got an extra assurance that the course is the most up-to-date and relevant that it's going to be in the five-year period. We very much designed our course this time in conjunction with industry representatives. We went out and asked them, what do you need your graduates to be coming out with? And we developed the course around that. So we had existing modules that were really good and working well. And we dropped some modules that weren't working well for industry and developed new ones to make sure that our course is up to date, relevant and prepares you for what you're going to be working in. Students will develop a broad range of the skills, so it's not focused on one particular area, especially early on in the programme. You'll see the modules in a second and they specialise in either manufacturing or mechatronics in second year. These are both very prominent sectors in our regional economy. We don't develop courses at Southwest College that are not going to feed in to our local economy. It's very much applied learning. 
the modules are practical in nature and we develop the skills then sought by employers. So you're not sitting and being spoke to in lecture theatres. It's very much applied, practical and, and modules with a combination of some theories within there. You will do a work-based learning module on a foundation degree. This is at the end of second year on all of the programme strands. So you'll be out in, in, in the industry doing a project, which is worth a double module, 40 credits, after all of the strands of this programme. It's a culmination of all the learning that you've done over the last two or three years in the programme, and it, it goes towards the weighting of your final outcome. So what will you study? Like all engineering courses, you'll do a bit of maths. You'll also do some CAD and design, electronic principles, look at what it means to be a professional in the engineering field, look at some materials and manufacturing processes in the workshop, do some hydraulics, pneumatics, some further maths through engineering analysis, and everybody will do a module on robotics and automation. You'll see on the right-hand side what the manufacturing specialist modules are. So the two programs have two modules each that make them specialist. The manufacturing will look at design for manufacture and DMAC implementation. We'll also look at an introduction to operations management. The mechatronics program, on the other hand, will look at PLCs, programmable logic controllers, and electrical systems in more detail. Where is this course available? At the minute, the manufacturing specialism is going to be offered in the Dungannon campus, and the mechatronics specialism will be based at the OMA campus. We have three modes of study. There is full time and part time. The part time can be done over two and a half or three years. The two and a half year course is an accelerated mode. So you do an extra module at the end of first year, an extra module at the end of second year, and then in third year, you only need to do your work based learning. What do you need to get onto the course? You need 64 UCAS points for the full time mode and a little bit less for the two part-time modes at 56 UCAS points. You must also meet the University of Ulster general entrance criteria, have GCSE English and MAS at grade C. We will accept the equivalent in English like essential skills, but we can only accept the MAS at GCSE level. What can this course lead on to? It's a pathway onto associated courses at Ulster University. So for example, the courses lead on to uh, BEng in Mechatronic Engineering, in mechanical and manufacturing engineering and engineering management at Jordanstown and McGee campuses. When you study a foundation degree, you're leaving us with a level five qualification. At Ulster then, you can articulate into second year of the programmes I just mentioned. Because you've done work-based learning, you don't need to do your year out. So if you go to university, you do two years in, one year out and the final year. So it's four years. If you do a foundation degree, it's two years with us and you go into second year of university, you skip your placement year and you do final year. So it's still four years. So you're no further behind in your programme through doing a foundation degree locally and topping up at Ulster. There is now the option of topping up your degree at Southwest College. We've developed a programme with the Open University and we have about 22 students this year studying a top up honours degree in engineering at Southwest College in both the Dungannon and other campuses. A lot of our students weren't able to travel to Belfast. They were at a stage in their life where they couldn't commit to that, or they were working full time and could only commit to studying part time. So we developed a course to meet their needs. And we now have, as I say, 22 students studying part time to top up the honours degree. And it's only two years as well. We will also have a full, a full time option for one year. And Paul's going to speak about that programme in a few minutes. A lot of our graduates go into jobs commensurate with their qualifications. So they start off at a lower level job. By the time they finish their foundation degree, they're at a high level job within their organisation and they're quite happy with that. They don't want to go into any further study. So there's different pathways from the course and offer you progression. I'm also going to speak a bit about the higher level apprenticeship, which is of huge interest to a lot of students at the minute. Higher level apprenticeship is an opportunity to work in the industry whilst you're studying. It's the earn while you learn option and it's supported by the DFE. Our students at the minute generally attend the college two days a week. So it could be one long day and then an evening class on another day and they'll work in the industry the rest of the week. Technically, you would be an employee. You're paid for your full week, including the time you spend in the college. 
So if you're in college 11 or 12 hours studying, you're paid for them hours as well. If you're looking to go down this route, we would encourage you to start looking for a company willing to employ you now. You must come to us to enroll with your employer in hand or closely behind that. Don't wait to September to look for an employer. When you come onto the course, you enter what's called a tripartite agreement. So this is between the employee, which would be you, the company or the employer, which must be a private Northern Ireland based company, and the training provider, us. So it's an agreement between the three parties to provide this training plan over the two or three years. Or higher level premises, study the foundation degree in engineering. So you follow all the same course requirements. You end up with the exact same foundation degree at the end of your two and a half or three years. It's the part time mode of study. You need to meet the entrance requirements of the program still. So it's 56 UCAS points, the GCSE English and Maths, and the general entrance requirements of UU. And then secondly, you must confirm your employer who's from the private sector and based in Northern Ireland. This course is available in Dungannon for manufacturing and OMA for mechatronics, just like the foundation degree. It offers the same progression rates as the foundation degree because you're leaving with the same qualification. The same progression rates are open to you, so you can articulate in the second year of the honours degree programmes at Ulster, onto a top-up degree programme with us, or into higher level jobs. We have also had students who have topped up into higher level programmes at other institutes, not just Ulster or with ourselves. So there are other options available. Paul Eagleson is now going to speak a bit about the level six degree programme. But first, we're going to hear from what one of our employers in Terex had to say about working with the college. Hello, my name is Michael O'Neill. I'm the engineering director in, for Terex in Dungannon. Um, firstly, a little bit of background. I'm actually a past pupil of Southwest College or Dungannon Tech as it was known then. And I studied a BTEC National Diploma in Engineering before going on to Belfast to further my education. In recent years, I've been delighted to be involved again and to see the study opportunities and the progression with the college and all on our doorstep here locally. So I'm familiar with the career paths and opportunities available. Terex, along with the other engineering companies in the area, enjoy an excellent working relationship with the college. In the past eight to 10 years, we have worked together in partnership to create and develop dedicated courses suited to our business needs. This involves our input on key areas of study. Firstly, the course content themselves, we have been able to input our needs, be it of the Gold Apprenticeship Foundation degree, or more recently in level six and the overall apprenticeship frameworks. Secondly, we were heavily involved in the establishment of the crushing and screening workshop in the college campus and how that allows students to upskill in the campus facilities. And thirdly, we have supported college lecturers spending time in our business to upskill themselves and be better placed to deliver our needs to the students. But this is not all one way. Terex has benefited greatly with the apprentices we have employed via the Gold and HLA programmes. The combination of the course content and the experience gained um, at work going hand in hand, they have become valued and effective additions to our company. And their quick progression in the key roles in our business is a result of the great collaboration between Southwest College and ourselves. Thank you. So uh, my name's Paul Eagleson and I'm one of the coordinators on uh, the BNG that we offer. So that's what I'm going to talk to you today about. So this is our level six offer for engineering. Um, it's BN Honours and it's a top up degree in engineering. Um, it's a great opportunity to stay local, uh, close to home and to stay in employment with a local employer and still gain an honours degree, still get, still get uh, become a graduate. Um, 
and that's if you have a foundation degree or equivalent. So uh, it's validated by the Open University and we have developed the course to align with what our local industry needs. So the, there are five modules that you will study. Those are operations management. So in that one, you will um, look at production planning, improving efficiency, improving quality, and problem solving. In industrial automation and robotics, then it's very practical. Uh, you do electrohydraulics, electro pneumatics, PLC uh, control, mechatronics and robotics and it's very much uh, working on rigs, very hands on and a lot of the assessment is very practical as well. And then in business and management, you're uh, linking to the operations management and then you're also looking at management models, marketing strategies, financial management and human resource management. And as I say, it links to operations management and looks at how to improve efficiency and quality. Uh, then the fourth one is innovation through engineering design and it's there so that you have the opportunity to use uh, some CAD software to carry out an industrial design project and to develop innovation skills. And then the final one is the dis dissertation which is uh, a culmination of all that work and all your experience. You carry out um, academic research and complete quite a significant project in that. So the course is available in both um, Dungannon and Oma campuses. Um, and we're ready to move on. Um, <clears throat> it currently runs as a two year course, as I say in Dungannon and Oma, but it's also available as a one year option. If uh, the demand was there, that's a possibility. Um, to get it to gain entry, you must have obtained over 55% average in taught modules at level five in a foundation degree in engineering or equivalent. And you must also hold GCSE English and maths at grade C. And what can you expect to lead on to? Well, get, be, you become a graduate. Um, it opens those doors in your workplace. It can also lead on to um, a master's level at other and other institution. So it's a, it's a big advantage, uh, the course, generally because it's a lot less expensive. You can earn uh, and you can um, gain promotion and work and um, you don't have that added cost of university. So those are our offer, offers for engineering. So hopefully we have um, gained your interest and so if you want to apply, go to www.swc.ac.uk and click on the apply tab and uh, search for the course that it is you're interested in and fill in your details. It's an online process. You'll be able to upload all the information that we require um, and uh, we'll automatically have your details and be in contact. So um, we're now at the stage where you can uh, add any last minute questions. Um, if anybody wants to drop them into the Q&A tab, we're here to answer anything that, that you would like to, to ask. And if not, if you have no questions, we'll then um, as I say, I hope that we've sparked your interest. There is an offer there for for everyone. Um, and just use the website to register, to apply. OK, so there, there are a few questions coming in that we can give, give general answers to. For example, with the situation, the lockdown situation with COVID, some of you are wondering about um, applying to employers and what advice we would give on that. Well, to, to begin with, I would suggest that you register your interest online for the, for the course. So that's uh, at the Southwest College website apply. Um, and then I would keep in contact with the employers. Make sure that um, you as an individual 
um, have a good CV there, that uh, you're in contact with their HR teams, that you, uh, as soon as when it comes to the lockdown being lifted and you are you can safely do that, go and see the employers, have a discussion with them. Uh, but I would certainly um, register online and make sure that, that you're there. Once your name's on the, on the system, um, you you will once once uh, the lockdown is lifted, you will be able to go and approach those employers and um, find a place. Another question there, uh, the level six program, the the degree program, the one year um, course, the one year course will not uh, be five days a week. Uh, you can expect in in the two year equivalent course where the students are in the college one day. Um, and as long as timetables allow, uh, if we bring that two year course down to one year, then you could expect it to be the equivalent of two full days. Now, with timetabling, that may lead to it being two and a half, depending on uh, how we timetable the course, but you wouldn't certainly wouldn't expect it to be five days. Uh, again, the one year course will only run if there's a significant number of people interested in it. There are a number of things that tend to lead to the one year course not being the one that people choose. Um, some of them being there's a, there's, a, there's a cost difference in the course and because the majority of people at that stage are interested in earning in, in being out and working and earning and having the input from an employer that's interested in them doing the course. So. Um, Two years is a great option. One day a week in the college and be with an employer. Again, there are a number of questions coming in about employers. I, I would say that we're all in a situation that we're, that we're unsure of. Um, and really, first thing to do is register, make sure you're uh, applying. And then the other thing is keep in contact with the employers. It's very much focused on yourselves finding that position you 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 become employed and then join the course with that uh, with the support of that employer or you um or it happens a very short time after you've you've joined the course so the the, the, the emphasis is very much on yourself to get out there uh, and get your name known and um get yourself a position so if that's the end of all the questions, um, then thanks for joining us. I, uh, I hope we've been of help and do again go and uh, fill in the application, online application. Uh, again, um, thanks from all of the all of the moderators here. I see one more question there about the full time option. If, if you need an employer, you don't need an employer to do the full time course. You will need a, a, a place of employment for your work based learning at the end of the course in second year. You have plenty of time to get that sorted. So you don't need an employer to come on to the full time option. Um, you're straight in and you'll be studying three days a week on the full time option. So you are free to work the other two days and probably best to, to build up some work experience over the, the first year and towards the second year, but you don't necessarily need an employer to do the full time option and um, you'll be in full time studying three days a week. I think that's it. If there's any further questions, guys, or anything you think of in the next couple of days or even over the summer regarding the course, you can email any of the course um, directors here. Their contact details are all on our website under the various courses or if you want a central email address, you can email me. I'll put it in the messages now as an announcement. It's john.dolan at swc.ac.uk. If there's no further questions, uh, we'll probably close this session. Uh, thank you very much for joining us and we look forward to welcoming some of you, um, if not all of you, in September.